as Jinghua said, that this um, intensive program is the third year, and I have uh, heard from various people who have taken in the previous two seminars and how much uh, they've learned from this and how much enjoyed uh, to be part of this program. And so uh, my own experience uh, uh, has proved that indeed uh, those are uh, really well-grounded uh, reports because this is actually my first year to uh, teach in the intensive seminar and Harvard has been part of the Gloria Sun alignment, uh, uh, alignment and uh, uh, the league, uh, the Frog, uh, Frog Bear uh, Association and uh, we have been, you know, with Jinghua, with Vicky, have been working towards uh, making the Buddhist studies uh, international pursuit. And indeed, um, so this is the, my uh, uh, first uh, um, time experience in, in, in teaching in this uh, intensive program. And I fully echo uh, Buzzy's sentiment that it has been enormously uh, stimulating and interesting in part because I I really enjoyed uh, the makeup of the this constituency of this uh, uh, program. We have a fully international uh, cast, and um, and uh, just to be able to somehow speak to the world uh, really uh, is quite an extraordinary experience. Um, so uh, that in part is also enhanced by the fact that we are uh, not only uh, speaking or communicating across the world, we are also, I mean, do it in a, in a live, in a, in a um, you know, I'll, I'll be uh, through this virtual means, but nonetheless, uh, it has its own actually benefits of being really somehow uh, close or looking at everyone's face, uh, from different parts of the world. And uh, that's a sort of situation uh, very much like the Lotus Sutra where uh, <laughs> Shakyamuni speaks from the many treasure pagoda and then there's a, a land, a ten a land, pure, a ten lands of, of, of Buddha lands are, are all sort of hovering in the air and, and, and it's quite an extraordinary experience. So um, I would just say that uh, it's also uh, tremendously uh, stimulating experience uh, uh, speaking to an interdisciplinary um, audience. Uh, people have different backgrounds and they, they bring their different strengths and expertise into the conversation. And, and, and above all, uh, also we, will have, uh, we have some monastic members and I, you know, yesterday I closed my session with a chanting of the Heart Sutra and uh, many participants enjoy that, 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 um, that uh, experiential aspect of learning and experiencing Buddhism. Now, I also uh, want to say that um, uh, just, um, just the thought that, you know, you, you guys are in this uh, digital age is what a blessing it is because uh, what one can in this time and um, digital time um, accomplish a kind of amount of research, it would probably take a month uh, to accomplish what we can now do uh, in one, uh, a few days. So I've just found that, you know, uh, for your generation to be, uh, to, to have that kind of available means and, um, uh, it, it is so enviable, and uh, I repeatedly said in my uh, sessions that I wish I would to start again and to be in the same kind of uh, um, uh, position so that um, I can uh, learn uh, so much more. And um, so um, this is just a word of encouragement, and also just say that uh, you you need to just need to uh, fully. Uh, take advantage of what technology has made it possible for you to uh, 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 learn about Buddhism and Buddhist art in a way that when we were, uh, at least my, I was in my student years, and it wasn't totally impossible. 
you know, uh, now you can go to 40 virtual caves and look at the details in a way that I, we were only uh, pouring over the uh, publications and, 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 and also make the best of the time in some of the short visit. So I, I think that, of course, we, we, we will still uh, hopefully um, uh, in years to come that uh, we'll have the opportunity to, to go with some, to some of these caves with you. And because after all, still there is nothing quite like being in the physical space, looking at the painting together and discussing. Uh, another thing I have to say also that it has been as uh, a buzzy, uh, uh, Happily said that it has been also uh, a learning experience for me as well. Um, I learned so much, um, it, and, and uh, among many highlights in my um, teaching this in this uh, uh, program is uh, twice uh, uh, Liu Yi uh, uh, offered to share some relevant images, and uh, I, I've, I've never seen these images myself, and, and they all are eye-opening. And in particular, um, yesterday, the, um, the site from Sichuan that he showed um, uh, actually really helped me to rethink uh, that painting. Uh, I, I, so it was actually quite a game changer. So uh, uh, I think the frog bear's um, uh, intention is, from ground up. So apparently someone like Liu Yi Si has often set his uh, foot on the ground and have uh, uh, surveyed the site in a way that uh, a few of us would have the same intensity and, and, and uh, means of do so. And uh, so some of these uh, materials are really like, you know, very few people are aware of. So occasions like this, make this kind of possible, this, this kind of exchange possible. And um, so I want to thank uh, Liu Yi Si uh, here and um, uh, for, for sharing uh, this kind of information with us. And so finally, I have to say that, um, um, again, it's a, it's a great timing to study Buddhist, Buddhism and Buddhist art in this age of open imagination and with um, everyone looking for, well, at least being interested in, in, in uh, some kind of parallel universe, in, in other um, um, parts of the world. And, and uh, it's, it is really a good time to be in. But of course, full of anxiety about the future, uh, that all the more reason that we need to find some kind of uh, spiritual guidance and uh, or lessons from the past. So, um, so finally, I have to say again, uh, Buzzy said everything I want to say. Uh, I want to uh, especially think, thanking uh, Vicky uh, and the UBC team, Carol and Chen Hua, uh, Jinghua. Uh, uh, Vicky in particular kept my sh uh, ship afloat, I think. Uh, uh, there are times I forgot about, uh, you know, when is the time to end? She's always there to remind me and she just keep everything in good order. And without uh, Vicky, it's hard to imagine how we can run this thing at all. And I also want to thank uh, Glory Sum uh, Foundation, Zhan Lu, and um, uh, to, to uh, make it possible for us to do a kind of work uh, that one person couldn't possibly do. It really takes a whole village or a whole community to accomplish uh, um, uh, international uh, joint effort such as this. Uh, so uh, quite, uh, so I have a good time and uh, I intend to be more engaged in the frog bear efforts. Um, and I also thank uh, Buzzy for, um, you know, at least uh, virtually uh, making Princeton the anchor point uh, of this event. And uh, lastly, but not least, uh, Jinghua, um, you know, uh, it's a really amazing how much you, you, um, um, you know, made this whole thing international and institutionalized uh, with your vision. And, um, 
So no wonder I, I actually kind of uh, trace that to the great empire building moment in the Wu Zetian era where you started your kind of, not you started, but uh, now where you draw inspiration. And uh, so um, everything makes sense. And uh, so anyway, I look forward to working with you all uh, uh, in future. Thank you.